This is part 14 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss ng-hide and ng-show directives in Angular. ng-hide and ng-show directives are used to control the visibility of the HTML elements. Let's understand these with an example. Notice here we have a table that's displaying employee data. Just above the table we have this hide salary checkbox. When this checkbox is unchecked, we want the salary column to be visible. When it is checked, we want to hide the salary column. Let's see how easy it is to achieve this using ng-hide and ng-show directives. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So within the script.js file, we have our controller function. Notice within this function, we have this employee survey, which at the moment contains five employee objects. And then we are attaching this employee survey to the dollar scope object using this employees variable, which is going to be the model for the view. And then within our view, that is HTML page one dot HTML, we're using an HTML table to display the employee data. Within the T head section, notice we have got four TH elements to display the column headers. And within the T body section, we're using the ng repeat directive to loop through each employee in the employee array. And then we are binding to the employee objects, name, gender, city, and salary properties. So when we view this page in the browser, this is how the employee data is displayed at the moment. Just above this table, we want a checkbox. So input type equals checkbox. And let's include this label for the checkbox, hide salary. And let's include two break elements. And on this checkbox, I'm going to use ng-model directive. I'm going to set that to this variable, hide salary. And then I'm going to use this variable within the th element. So within the th element, I'm going to use ng-hide directive and set that to the value of this variable. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the td element that's displaying the salary property values. Now, initially, hide salary will not be available on the dollar scope object because within our controller to the dollar scope object, we're only attaching this variable employees. This variable hide salary initially when the page loads, it will not be available on the dollar scope object. So obviously that variable will be undefined. Undefined will evaluate to false and we have set that as the value for ng hide. So ng hide false, that means you know this th will be displayed and this td will be displayed. So initially when the page loads, we should be able to see the salary column values. Let's reload this and see that. Look at that, you know, when the hide salary checkbox is displayed, this is unchecked and the salary column is visible. Now when I check this checkbox, what is going to happen? The value of hide salary variable will be changed by this element and that will be updated in the model as well and these th element and this td element are using that variable so they will read the updated model value which is going to be true and ng hide equals true that means both this th element and this td element will be hidden let's look at that in action notice that as we check the checkbox the salary column is hidden when we uncheck it it's displayed again now we can also achieve exactly the same thing by using ng show directive instead of ng hide. When we do this, we will have to negate the value of hide salary using not operator like that. Let's save the changes and let's reload this page. Look at that. The example should behave exactly the same way as before but here we are using ng-show instead of ng-hide. So here we have the controller code and here we have the view HTML. Let's look at another example. Instead of hiding the entire salary column, let's mask and unmask salary column values. So when the checkbox is unchecked, we should not mask the salary column values. When we say hide salary, the salary column values should be masked. Let's see how to achieve this. So to achieve that, what I'm going to do is use two th elements, and I'm going to use hide and show. And let's do the same thing here. ng hide and show, 
and I'm going to change I'm not going to use any data binding expression here instead I'm going to use you know hash symbols just to give the effect of you know that the salary column um, values are masked all right so ng hide I'm going to use hide salary variable all right so let's see how this is going to work so initially ng model hide salary this variable will not be available on the dollar scope object so hide salary will be undefined undefined evaluates to false ng hide false so this header element will be visible ng show false so that means this will be hidden that means its corresponding uh, td which is this one will also be hidden so initially the salary column that has the actual values will be visible when we check the checkbox hide salary will be true so when it is true ng hide true then the salary column which displays the actual values will be hidden and the one that has the masked values that is these hash symbols will be hidden uh, will be displayed let's actually look at that in action so let's save these changes and look at that when I check this checkbox notice the salary column values are masked when I uncheck it the values are displayed and here is the required HTML change thank you for listening and have a great day